Morning guys. Hey, so Fabian or Fabian wanted to know how to get Iridian X Transformer or I suppose Iridian Developer in Lightroom as a plugin. Um, I can't even remember if I've pointed this out somewhere else. So here's a very quick video on how to do that. So, um, under plugin extras, I've already got Iridian Developer and Iridian X Transformer loaded as processes for refs. Um, let me see if I've got any. It's easier to explain if I can actually show you it working. Uh, I've got a filter here for refs only. I used to have a filter here for refs only. I've just reinstalled this machine. This is my new iMac. Uh, I've got a top of the range iMac. It's fantastic. It makes a big difference. Uh, refs. It must be something in 2018 maybe. Let's have a look. Okay, there we go. So that's a ref file. And I'm able to right click, go to, see I've already forgotten where this is. I'm talking rubbish. I'm able to click on it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Go to plugin extras and go transform. So process selected ref to DNG. I click on that. Um, Iridian X transform automatically fires up, converts the image and round trips it back again. Um, nearly there, nearly there, nearly there. Okay, turn off my filter here. All right, so now I have side by side, I have the DNG, which has been generated from Iridian, and I have the ref. Okay, cool, so how did I get it into Lightroom? How did I get it to show up in plugin extras? Well, the nice thing with um, uh, Iridian transformer and developer is the plugin is built into the application so all you do is fire up either one let's fire up iridian developer you go up into the menu bar you say help and you say install lightroom plugin that's it done same with transformer open up transformer go to the help menu click uh, where is it? it's also in here install lightroom plugin uh, click ok and that's it. You might have to restart um, Lightroom, which it does warn you about, just to make sure that Lightroom goes and loads those plugin options. But there you go. And uh, there's another video linked just before Fabian's post that actually shows you how to create keyboard shortcuts for these. I won't repost that, rather just go and watch the other video. Um, yeah, keep questions coming, guys. If you have any more, happy to help. Ciao.